I've got Joe confused. I'm confused. I thought I knew what I was doing. We're going to scrapbook tonight. Mm -hmm. We're going to put these three pictures on here, and then I'm going to figure out what to do to decorate the page. <laughs> Other than the pictures. It took me, what, an hour to pick out which, which pictures I wanted. But I got it. So I'm going to give him the page. <laughs> it's all his now. <laughs> For at least this part. <sighs> Otherwise I'll have them all skewy and at angles. You know what I did last time. Yep, 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 yep. It was just a sticker though. Uh, how big a pages are these? It's 12 or so, but 14 by something. But you got three pictures. Yeah, it's 14. I don't know that they have to be perfect, but... Because none of the pictures are the same size. Let's make it 11 inches. 14 by 11. And a picture and measure. Oh boy. One, two, three. It's a square picture. Yep. It's her senior picture. One of them. Not quite four and three eighths. So I got four and three eighths. This is going to be a process. I guess. <laughs> I may have to speed it up. Can't make anything simple. Well, what's so hard about it? It's difficult. <laughs> you don't have to be that exact. Three and a half. This ends. Three and a half. Well. See, this is where we almost clash sometimes because I wish he would be just a tiny bit more haphazard. He three. wishes I'd be a lot more exact. Three and three eighths. <laughs> right there? Yeah, something like that. You see, he's, he's one of those, always agree with the wife and you'll never have a bad life. <laughs> okay. Three quarter and a half inch is an inch and a quarter. Uh-huh. So you add that to there. So you got four, eight, eleven. Eleven and a quarter. Okay, that's up and down, right? Up and down. Okay, so what we want to do is measure how far from the top and how far from the bottom, right? Yeah. Then do that! <laughs> they can't see you right now. All they can see is the page. Okay, fourteen inches. Eleven and a quarter to fourteen. Oh, I'm trying to think here. Twelve and two and three quarters. Two and three quarters, half of that would be one and three eighths. But that's just from the bottom. That's that's if you keep them together. You mean like if you touch them? Yeah. It'd be one and three eighths up and one and three eighths down. Now, if you want a gap in between them. Why don't we do like a three quarters or a half inch up here? And down here, well, or so we got that one, two, three, four. Divide that by four. So we got one inch. oh four spaces, yeah. One inch would that be a quarter? Divide three eighths by a quarter, by four. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are we coming down to a 30 second now? Yeah. I <laughs> figured. <laughs> down to a 30 second of an okay. inch. Three eighths would be six. It won't hurt my feelings if you go to six, a six sixteenths. Six sixteenths. Divide that by four. Okay. Oh, Just go to a sixteenth of an inch. It'll be good enough. For me, anyway. It'll be even. You know, I could I could do this, you know. I mean, I can do the the no, cockeyed no, look. Don't do that. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't go for that. Some people do in their scrapbooks, but no, I'm not real big on that either. Let me think here. Six, 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 
four. Did I put it to sleep? No, it does that. It'll shut itself off. Um, I forgot about that because I left the thing open. Yeah, it'll shut itself off. I just pushed the record button and forgot. So. That's good. The distance is pretty close. I think it's perfect. Okay. Got pencil marks. Uh, if they can't for forgive those, then they got a problem. Okay. Okay, I want to pick some pit. I will pick them. <laughs> Now I'm going to pick some of these. This is a picture with the car that James bought her for graduation. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah, in her graduation cap and gown. That's her senior picture. And this is their engagement picture, I believe. So, the one with the flowers mm -hmm. beside the car, because that, that was his graduation present to her. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see. It doesn't have to be straight. I'm going to put it kind of like that. Well, that vase is almost the same <laughs> color as the paper. Well, at least I'll see the flowers. Okay. The truck's kind of big. Okay, I have to stuck it down. Is it straight? It's pretty close. Okay. Life is so sweet. Okay. One more. Which one should I pick? Well, it's Angie. What do you think? Sugar. Sugar? Yeah. Okay, we'll go sugar. There we go. We've got Angie full of sugar. Okay. We might be able to do more once we get it all, you know, kind of figured out. Maybe get more stuff. Can you see that? I'm going to turn you around. That's Angie's senior picture, and we put a Joe sided she's sugar. And that is her in her cap and gown. That is her car that her husband, now husband, bought her for graduation. They weren't married yet then. And so we gave it some flowers. And that's a picture of them, their engagement picture. Let me hold on. Edge. <laughs> That's Angie and James' engagement picture. Okay. I, I went ahead and I left us a few pages so that we could put the kids in as they're growing up. Because this starts their family. And this is our oldest daughter, Angela, that we've just done. And I should put a picture of her and her husband down here. There will be more of them later. So this is the start of Angela's page. <laughs> She's our oldest. Oh, 
Oh golly, been a long time since 1991 when this was when this all happened. Oh uh, well, she won't like to hear me say that, but eh, maybe maybe not. They have they've had a nice. Oh, they're over. How long have they been married now? 91 to, it'll be 30 years next year? To 2000. Okay, 91 to 2000, that's 10. 2001, 2000. It'll be 30 years next year. <sighs> My kids make me up. I hope you I hope you enjoyed our scrapbooking silliness for tonight. What I got on camera. <clears throat> I turned it off for a while because we were doing all the measurements and we thought, well, that would get very long. And I pushed record again. I forgot all about the fact that when it sits on standby, it shuts itself off. <laughs> so when I remembered that, I did turn it back on. So that's what you saw was what was left. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and please come back tomorrow and subscribe, click that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. We've started on our oldest child. We've still got a long way to go. Thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs>